All right, Scotch Test Dummies, we've got our part four of the single malt tomes, or the last of the great malts. Reveal. The reveal. <laughs> uh, if you've watched, we've done Craig Ellicke, Aberfeldy, and Royal Brackla, and today, Altmore, 12 year. Way to say it. Good. I talked too much in the last one. Uh, this was five distilleries um, of Dewars uh, that they released their single malts, basically. Uh, Dewars has used them a lot in their blending, or their blended scotches. Um, Altmore 12 is, is one that was is heavily used from what I had read and used quite a bit. So, Now this one, the outer cover, gray, does actually have the feel of leather. Um, it... it uh, it has a slight texture to it. You've got the, their symbol on the front. And it's kind of, uh, it's not as flashy as the rest. A little more subdued. Yeah, I like it. And it's got this flap that actually is magnetized to the tone that comes into here. Now this one's got a lot of special cool stuff in here, but it reveals it slowly. So you've got a little bit of their story, the fogginess, even the look. Mm -hmm. You took a photo of this as well, and I told you, wow, I, I felt like you spent time on that photo, and then what'd you tell me? Yeah, take it with my iPhone. Boom, iPhone snap. <laughs> I'm like, well, didn't you colorize it or something? Mm -mm. No. Nope. This made it look it just, black yeah, and white. Just yeah. black and white coloring here, and then the color of the, the spirit in the bottle. Beautiful Boom. photo you took. So it just kind of peels off, and again, you get this fogginess to it, and then it opens up. And uh, you've really gone through this a little better. Should I even let them peek at the bottle? Sure. Yeah. So you got a door. Now you go into these cool accoutrements. Yeah. All right. First of all, there's a story, a little story here. Uh, mystery of the Bucky Road, which is also on the end of, uh, or the, the binding. Is that what you call this? The mm -hmm. binding of the, the, the book. The spine. Um, the spine. There you go. Kind of like the pommel. Um, Included is an Altmore Glen Karen, which they've kind of smoked um, or laser fogged the top of it to go along with the foggy moss. We have a little laser light and is it a little a, flashlight. Is it a laser or yeah, is it an laser. infrared? No, it's oh, so a it's a pointer as well. A pointer, yeah. But it has an infrared So I can point it. at you. Oh, you just blinded my cornea. And say, quiet! And it's got a flashlight, which the flashlight is good for. Um, we'll show you in a little bit. You don't want to show now. Well, the code word is going to have to move closer. Gotcha. Or should he? Well, I think, you see could, from there? I think you could explain kind of the cool thing because okay. what in the heck? Yes. This is some kind of steampunk thing here that I had no idea what it was. This, you figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, when I looked at it, I knew it was some sort of a combination lock type little vault, um, vial right. type deal. And uh, in the past, the others have all had a USB drive. I had a suspicion there was a USB drive hidden in here. Um, and what you can do is you take this flashlight. On the infrared black light kind of system. Yep, and when you open this book, uh, The Mystery of the Bucky Road, and the light reveals the numbers in here throughout the book. So we got a seven and a one. Oh, don't give them the full code. I'm giving them the secret chamber. <laughs> two. Oh, he's doing it. Seven, one, two, oh, seven. Man, leave something unknown, sir. Don't give them the full code. And the last digit oh. is four. Oh, you're horrible. You've revealed the code. Just ours. Maybe they're all the same. I don't think so. You think every book has a different uh -huh. code? I think you're crazy on that one. <laughs> I think they all got the same code. Oh, they could be. I don't know. I don't think so. You just, you just reveal um, them. Actually, though, I kind of cheated. Before I found that in the book, I realized there was a, a five-digit code on the bottom of right. the lock. Just and I tried case. it, and it worked. We'll get into the tasting of the bottle later. But... Uh, that's the old Presentation. 12 year mystery of the Bucky Nothing Road. like a secret decoder code. <laughs> um, Love it. Whoever came up with the packaging on this did an excellent job. I give it a 10 out of 10. These would make great gifts. Um, they are available. Now, the original 
uh, one that was put out last year with the Craig Gellicke and the Aberfeldy was not available retail. Right, it was more of a media package. I think they only did five of them in the U.S. that I heard of. Oh, really? Somewhere I heard there were five. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Maybe I made that up. I don't know. I thought I'd heard there were five. Hmm. So, but the new ones, uh, the Royal Brackla, the Altmore, and we'll also be doing the Deveron are all available retail. Um, they are available online at um, yep. reservebar.com. Perfect. And we'll put that in the all right. description. And again, stay tuned. There's going to be a little annotation, a little link here somewhere. We're now going to go do a tasting of the sweet juice that's actually inside the bottle in there. That's right. Um, if you haven't tuned in before, we do America's Whiskey Wednesday, where it's uh, North American whiskeys that we review. And then on Saturdays, we put out Scotch and World Whiskeys. So tune in, and uh, there'll be one right after this. So not right. only do you see the case, but you get a review on what's inside. Mm -hmm. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salancha, dummies.